Well, if you follow me or talk to me on Facebook and Twitter, you know I love animals and healthy eating. Well, this weekend in the city, there's a big event where you can show your love as well. We're talking about the Walk for Animals, and right now we've got a special guest with us. He is the president and founder of Farm Sanctuary, Gene Bowers, here tonight to talk about the event, Healthy Eating, Living Longer, something uh, we all want to do. Gene, Absolutely. thank you. Absolutely. Thanks for being here. Well, let's start off talking about what Farm Sanctuary is all about. Farm Sanctuary is an organization that works to raise awareness about the factory farming system and encourages people to make more compassionate, mindful choices about the way we eat. You know, most of us don't really think very much about the cows and the pigs and the chickens who are exploited in our food system. And when we do, you know, a lot of people would rather not participate in that. All right, so your book has taken off, really, Living the Farm Sanctuary Life. Let's talk a little bit about it. Uh, you know, I was telling you earlier, I'm a vegetarian, and uh, it's about healthy eating, but it's also about um, doing the right thing for your body, really, long term. I guess for me. Absolutely. You know, we can live very well without eating meat, milk, or eggs. Mm -hmm. And if we can live well without causing harm, why wouldn't we? You know, I've been a vegan since 1985, and I've been doing marathons. I did an Ironman triathlon a couple years ago. I'm going to be doing the New York City Marathon this November. We can get everything we need from plants, and it's healthier for us. It, you know, some of the chronic diseases we face in this country could be prevented by shifting to eating plants instead of animals. I mean, a lot of people ask, do you miss steak? Do you miss all of these things? Um, of course, when you smell something like that and you smell great food, but uh, there are some small changes you say even meat eaters can make in terms of a plant-based diet. Yes, absolutely. People can participate in meatless Mondays, okay. where for one day a week, for example, they don't eat meat. Mm -hmm. um, or they can use alternatives to cow's milk instead of cow's milk. There's almond milk and coconut milk. And so soy many milk. things now, So right? many new alternatives, yes. So All it's right. getting easier. Talk about your event, because you're expecting a large turnout tomorrow. Yes, we're expecting people to come out for the Walk for Farm Animals, where we raise awareness and just encourage people to think about the fact that farm animals have feelings and they deserve to be treated with respect and compassion. They're not that different than cats and dogs. We actually have turkeys on the farm that follow you around like a puppy dog. And we have pigs that love belly rubs. So these are individuals who have feelings and they want to be treated with respect just like all animals. What kind of response have you gotten from people? There are a lot of meat eaters out there, a lot of people that say, I, I, can't, I can't do this. I can't. And you're a vegan and I, mm -hmm. I think that's even more difficult. Well, even people who eat meat are generally not happy to see what happens on factory farms. Sure. And you know, there's this violence that, that exists there. And most people are compassionate so we just encourage people to to start being more mindful and ultimately to make choices that are more aligned with their own values and their own interests so everybody's got to make their own choice though all right gene thank you so much i certainly appreciate it tomorrow morning central park yes that's right central park tomorrow banchell area all right thank you so much thank you